Hey everyone, so the next one we're going to be talking about in Japan, one of my favorite places to visit, is Gotokuji Temple in Setagaya. So, Gotokuji is where the location, you'll probably hear about it, where a lot of people flock to Gotokuji Temple, um, also known as uh, Cat Temple, to uh, showcase a plethora of statues, a lot of statues of the lucky cat also known as Maneki Nickel. So this is uh, right behind me. You'll see this photo right here of these uh, cats. And there are a lot of them. I'm talking about a lot. You, you just I can just show you photo to photo. It's just everywhere. They are uh, they're pretty much hardcore about uh, having these <laughs> little little statues but pretty much here is a Gotokuji temple but first let's talk about this first so so um, yeah featuring a plethora of statues the uh, Maneki Neko uh, legend also has it that um, well, including the J Japan National Tourism Organization they say that during the Edo period a feudal lord named uh, Linautaka was arriving home and saw the temple's cat tried to get him to enter the temple Hence the cat's paw being up. Usually that's a, a sign when Japanese do that. You know, when you see the, their, their hand up and just calling. With it. it looks like in the in Americans like saying hello, but in Japanese it's like, come here, come here. So um, the it's, uh, so it's the opposite of what you have in the U.S. or something like that. But So the feudal lord went to the temple and then a thunderstorm came and not sure if the story was that the lightning struck the very area he was standing um, but the feudal lord felt gracious enough that the cat saved his life so he collected funds and donated it um, um, donated the money to the rebuilding of the temple which brought visitors from far away who have come to visit the temple and see the plethora of Maneki Neko statues with their very own eyes uh, visitors came to Gotokuji to offer Maneki statues to the temple as a gesture of gratitude after their wishes became a reality and for foreigners it's a fascinating and unique temple because of the number of maneki neko statues at the location big and tall and right in the middle of the cats is the statue of canon the goddess of mercy right here and there's so much to go go to kuji temple with a large pagoda and incense kiln in front a cemetery to the side and much more so pretty much uh, this is a really really nice place I'm gonna show you this one right here so this one right here is the pagoda at uh, Gotokuji um, actually you can't see it all but um, see if I can now I'll see if I can find a smaller photo here but another one of uh, the location at Gotokuji. Uh, here's one, another one with the pagoda right here. And this one right there. Incense. Pagoda with a bell. That's some uh, the statues right here. This was an interesting thing to see as well. It's probably one of the bigger ones from the cemetery area, but um, yeah, you'll find some interesting things here, like even rocks, Buddha with rocks. But um, yeah, here's another one right here with all the with all the um, maneki neko. But yes, this is just uh, it's really hardcore. Let me see if I can, uh, there we go. Here's another one. And it's probably a lot more than when I last went. Here's another one. And you'll see the Maneki Neko. You'll even see the Maneki Neko at the station when you go there. But pretty much, um, to find Goto Kuji, it's, it's, it's not that, well, you know what? I take that back. What I would do if you were planning to go visit is I would definitely when you go to um, go to Google Maps what I would do is try to map out the 
the area from Sun Sun Gen uh, Jaya Station right here, and then plot your walk because you're gonna have to walk all the way there. Or you could go to Gotokuji. Actually, it was probably closer. Go to Gotokuji on the Oda Q line, and just uh, take the walk all the way to uh, Gotokuji Temple. It's not that far, but the thing is, is that. Um, you know, a lot of people want to see other things there. So you can see the Sitagaya Castle Site Park. You can see the Gotokuji Gate. You can see the Inari Shrine right here on the top. So there are quite a few things to visit uh, when you go. But just remember, Gotokuji Station, you just want to pretty much plot your walk. Uh, you can print out the, uh, the destination if you walk. It, it, it's very good. It, it stays with the... Uh, of what the uh, Google map says but pretty much just plot your walk and it should just it's just a you know what you want to do is when you walk you want to walk all the way here and just go all the way straight and then you just get to the temple here actually you're gonna have to go to the, the gate right here but for the most part it's not that difficult sometimes it may be a little daunting because it's a residential area but again I would do what I would do is I would print this out even the image of the map like uh, use um, snippet and do a print screen or and just print it out or and also print out the directions of the walking just in case um, I, I, Google Maps would work if you have the app it just depends if you have if you have a good connection um, and it's not like a super crowded area so it should work but I do know that um, using Google Maps sometimes it gets uh, in Tokyo or especially in, in, in yeah mostly Tokyo it can get a little confusing so sometimes it's just good to print something out like this just like a little picture and just to show you okay these roads here I'll just go straight and it's easier to find that way I think in, in my opinion but it's not too difficult it's just you know you just have to make sure that you keep to the directions there or you could end up going the wrong the wrong way so um, but you may see other tourists walking there at the same time so um, that's something to look for and you can follow their league their lead but uh, yeah pretty much this is Gotokuji temple and um, there's another one of the, the gate entrance and more of the Maneki Neko you know I used to have Maneki Neko's uh, right in front of our the home of our garden but uh, I think it got stolen I used to have it out in front. It's not there anymore. But, um, they're really good to have. I look at it as more of a good luck charm, but pretty much, again, people bring these to the, to, uh, go to Kuji Temple once their wishes have been, have been granted. So, um, as you can see, that's why there's so many of them, especially tiny, small ones, which you could pick up at most, uh, most parks or temples and you know tour stores you'll see a lot of these being sold but um, yeah I'm actually gonna get it I need to get another one I used to have this uh, a really good size one a really cool one and, and it I it's my fault I because I, I have like these Japanese like um, style like garden things up front and I really wish uh, I have that's still there I you know that makes me think now oh, what happened um, but yeah it's just those are really cool things to own and have there's two really they've got the Dharma doll and then the, the Maneko uh, Neko uh, statue um, the Dharma doll is the one where you it has no I think you fill out one eye and then once you uh, accomplish your goal you fill out the other eye where this one, yes, you just take it to go to Fuji Temple. But for, if, if anything, I just would like to keep it for the home. It's just good to have, I think. Just, uh, especially if you have, uh, you know, just want to remind yourself that you have, a, like, if you still have a, a wish that you want to, you know, come true. And also, um, you know, if you want this, uh, I kind of look at uh, the kitten, like, like the story, you know, of how I brought good fortune to him. Probably good to have in the house. That's how I look at it. But overall, 
Gotokuji Temple. This is located in Sitagaya in Japan. And that's pretty much it. Sitagaya, by the way, we'll talk more about that area. Really cool, really cool uh, area to visit, especially for shopping and so forth. They have a wonderful mall there. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Wink, wink. Oh, two eyes, no wink. Oh, let's see if I can do it. Come on, come on. Can I wink? There we go. We got a wink from me. And, uh, mm, here we go. Oh.